Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCare, and welcome to our Thursday night rock and pour collaboration. Tonight we don't have a topic, but we have something different. I'm going to be offering up a set of coasters to a lucky winner. And all you have to do to win this set of coasters is live chat with each of us in each of our premieres between myself, Lori Houston Art, Angela Bliss Art, and Amber's Awfully Awesome Art between now and 7.30. Just one comment will get you in, and I will take the names of all the names in the live chat, and you will be entered into a drawing. Shipping in the United States would be free. Overseas, you'll have to pay for shipping. So let's get started here. Get your live chat on and let's get going. Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKay Art, and I am back for something really weird today. This is a weird metal piece that is a stamp out that we found, my, um, my friend up the street, Bruce, and I found at the uh, BIMCO Biltmore Metalworks Company, which is where they have a lot of scrap metal, among other things. And uh, it's really cool in that this piece has got a lot of these little open spots. So this is the raw form and how I found it in that scrapyard. That my friend up the street filled with wax that I can pour on. We're not sure what we're doing with this, but the first thing is to try to get a pour on it. And I knew I couldn't pour on it with all these holes because every one of these little uh, fans are like holes. But we're thinking we're going to make a clock out of this because there are exactly 12 fans around the whole uh, clock, a face, and then there's small fans as well. Anyway, it was really cool. Picked it up. We're going to make something out of it. So the first part is to start with a pour that I did some coasters on. I might flash up a coaster to show you the color palette. So this was a test palette I did to check for what we're going to do with this piece. And... Uh, we were going for earth tones, so that's what we're going to get. So let me get you started here. Let me get the pillow down and the colors, and let's get this thing moving. Be back in a second. Also, you may be wondering why wax. Well, the wax, we're thinking, will be able to uh, heat source it out with either a flame or something hot so that the wax would melt and allow the paint to seep down. And I'm actually going to try to use my heat gun to do it. Uh, that's if I even need it because I may not even need it because the wax itself is kind of loose in there and it may just fall out with the weight of the paint on it. We'll see. I don't know. I'll try to video as much of this as possible and keep it a decent length. Okay, back in a second with the paint. Okay, as you can see, I'm starting to lay down the pillow. This is my multi-pro. A little more. All right, we'll go with this. And you know what? I'll tell you half the time I'm flying by the seat of my pants. Okay, so speaking of flying, I am going to pick up the pace here, double timing through the layering down of the, of the colors, because you can see what I'm doing. The first color down is the um, golden titan pale green. And one of the things I mentioned there was doing crazy things, and this is probably the craziest thing I ever tried. That's why I made the comment, no guts, no glory. This is my combination Chantilly Lace with Prism Pour and Golden Iridescent Pearl Combo. This is 24 karat gold combined with iridescent gold by Golden. The next color I have is, after I get this thing back on kilter, Burnt Sienna by Golden. And then I'll follow that up with the iridescent bronze by Golden. And then after that, I finish off with Deco Arts Obsidian. Cell activator, my white and my black. Let's give it a little stir before we go crazy. And I'll, I'm gonna use the hair dryer, I think, on this one. It's nine inches across. It's a little, probably more than my lungs can handle and do it justice. So I've got my Berta ready in the wings here. My little Berta, I'm gonna put it on uh, high, I think, and cool. Let 
Let's get enough of this down. Okay. And the black. Wish me luck, folks. Oh, I'm gonna go with it. This was a weird blowout because it started to just escape me on all sides all at once, so I just went for it. It's not what I was expecting to happen, but like all of it, you go with the flow. It spread out a lot faster and easier than I was expecting it to. All right. Let's blow out the middle a little bit. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit through this part. Switching out the straw. I'm not too worried about the middle because I'm gonna have a clock mechanism in there. So, all right, so let's, try to center this up a little bit. And let's get some uh, paint down here. It's doing that because it's off center weight wise. Again, I'm going to skip ahead as I lay down more pillow. So the paint can spread when I get ready to spin it. It's really pretty. Just got to be patient. You can't be in a hurry to do this. So let's try to center this up a little more. I think we're about ready to get spinning here. I have no idea if this is centered. I'm going to go real easy. Easy does it. His tail's whipping around here. All right, need it to spread. I'm letting you see this run real time so you can see the pace that it's spinning at. I got one side going. We got one side. All right, so now that we have one side, let me take some of this paint and share the wealth. So because I do a lot of spinning and slowly, I have a lot of spinning time. So I'm gonna skip ahead during pieces of this as I go. Here I got a little fancy and tried to spin too fast. Whoa. Once again, another nail biter. <laughs> I'm just going to do a few little blowouts with the straw to make it the way I want to see it. This was a little too brown in one spot, so I'm going to do little touch-ups here and there. I think we're about done. All right, let's see what I'm going to do now. So I need it tall enough so I can get my heat gun underneath it. And I need to have it so I can... have a way to get those pieces out. Oh, 
my gosh, how is this gonna go? So, my idea that it was all gonna just start falling out, it's not happening. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, watching this back is kind of funny, but I'm literally looking at this, trying to figure out what in the heck am I gonna do? Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a heat gun. Let's see what we get. Oh my God. So after a good minute of heat gunning, I decide that's not going to work. Uh, okay. That's not working. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So after about a minute and a half of trying to poke it up from the bottom, I ended up trying to go from the top. So approaching it from the bottom was the easier way because I could actually see where the holes would be. From the top, I can't because it was covered with paint. Well, so my concern here is time is going, the paint is gonna start drying, I have 24 holes to eradicate, and I have a great pour I don't wanna mess up on. If I can get through all this, I'd be shocked. Wow, there's one. Will it be better to go down? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, just push it through. Okay, now I'm going to pull it up. It's going to recover. So this is a good time to ask for a couple thumbs up and make sure you leave comments below. Go. Well, we're making progress. So everyone, this is how it went on and on for about 40 minutes, removing 24 shards of wax from this bad boy. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to live chat with each and every one of us to be entered into the drawing and the winner will be announced next week. Here are the wet results and then the finished assembled clock by Bruce Reeks at the end. I hope you enjoyed it and remember we're going to go to Lori Houston Art next. Take care everyone and thanks for joining me.